Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 18, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're willing to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos and let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the NASDAQ and as you can see, we did hit the bottom here at the NASDAQ at roughly 11.6K and we have rallied up to 12.5K. So we're still in a bear market and uh, at this current stage, we are just having a rally in the bear market. As we still can see, we basically need to break above these candlesticks here in order to go back to the all time highs. And that means that we need to break above the middle of the bullish band. We need to break above the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average in order to get back to those sides. And that is uh, probably not going to happen until the Federal Reserve basically changes its policies and becomes more and basically uh, becomes more bullish. But at this current stage, as we saw, uh, heard in the speech from the Federal, uh, Federal Reserve Chairman, that is definitely not what the Federal Reserve is planning. They are going to increase interest rates and they are going to cut back on quantitative easing. Uh, both uh, are extremely bearish for especially the tech market and the NASDAQ. So we can basically look at the Fibonacci retracements first for the NASDAQ and we can see that we are quite far off uh, the first Fibonacci retracement here at the 38.2 that is roughly at the 13k then we have the 50 right here at 13.4k and the 60.8 uh, here at the 13.48k so we will most likely have the have the 20 super moving average moving in, in this direction we will have the 50 moving average moving in this direction and the 200 moving average moving in this direction so we can see that the 0 0.50 fibonacci retracement is right around where the 50 moving average will be so if we do rally up towards this point that is most likely where we'll get rejected and this is roughly at the 13.4k so um uh bearish candlestick here where we rally and then just give everything away that is most likely where we'll see this basically turn around similar candlesticks to this one but only the opposite if we were to rally above here and then we have the 61.8 uh fibonacci retracement at roughly uh 13.9k breaking above that then the 200 moving average comes into play we also have these two tops here which offered massive resistance in the past and that is also in this area so we may uh, drop here so this is going to be an area of interest if we look at the, the technical indicators we can see that macd is uh, still bearish but it's about to cross the signal line indicating that crossing here may lead to additional rally to the upside or momentum to the upside so the casting is far more bullish and so is the RSI, which was significantly uh, basically on the edge of being oversold and uh, oversold in the daily chart usually means that we'll have a rally. We saw the same thing over here. And also when we get basically to overbought conditions, it also turns to the downside. So let's look at the S&P 500. And I have basically written a channel here, which I'll just get rid of first yes so also here we did hit bottom at the uh, at the 3.8k we are rallying to roughly 4k at this current stage and we're heading towards the middle of the bullish band which is at 4.1k breaking above here well that leads towards the 4.3k and that's probably as far as this will go we can see that this is where we got rejected the last time also over here so heading towards this area that was most likely where we'll find a major resistance and 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 so on we also have the 50 moving average traveling this direction and that will offer additional resistance if we break above here then the 200 moving average comes into play and that will also is a fairly bullish sign if we basically break above the 4.3k uh, most likely changing um, the direction of uh, this uh, bear market but at this current stage 
it's the Federal Reserve basically has to change its policy back in order to uh, that to occur. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is about to cross the signal line, becoming bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones, very similar, hit the rock bottom here at the 31.2K, trading at 32.6K at this current stage. MACD is still uh, bearish, about to cross the signal line, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. It was very low, so we may see this rally up towards the middle of the bullish band at 33.1K. 50 moving average, that is probably as far as this will go, as this is also where we got rejected the last time. So 50 moving average traveling this direction this is probably where we'll head up and then get rejected and head back down. Breaking above here, then we have the 200 moving average and these uh, double tops here that we basically have to break above in order to go back to the very highest. So let's look at the European market. This is the DAX. And DAX has, it's continuing this same pattern. So we have been rallying above the 50 moving average, breaking down, rally above, and just continuing uh, this uh, downward pattern. So if we get rejected here uh, in the coming days, uh, then it's most likely that we'll see another low in this market. So this is a bearish channel where we have been just bouncing off and most likely the target here will be the very lows of 12.4K. So if we manage to break above uh, these candlesticks, and then we'll mostly head towards the uh, a 200 moving average. We can also look at the Fibonacci retracements for uh, the DAX and we can see that we are kind of approaching the 50 Fibonacci retracement which is right here. So 14.3k uh, uh, that is probably an area we'll find massive resistance. Breaking above that then we have up here the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. That's probably as far as this will go as we have the 200 moving average above there as well. Breaking above here, then we'll most likely head towards high. But European markets are not doing very well um, uh, for many reasons. Um, change in interest rates or increase in interest rates, inflation, and of course the war in Eastern Europe. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI. And uh, it'll be interesting to see whether or not we get a candlestick like this one, where we get uh, basically a selling pressure to the downside. So let's go and look at the VIX. So VIX did uh, pull back quite uh, significantly uh, the last uh, few trading days, and that's probably also the reason why we have seen uh, this um, bullishness. We ran into major resistance up here at the uh, 34.9, uh, uh, nine, and as since then we basically uh, pulled back. You can see the MACD has crossed the signal line, becoming bearish. Stochastic is also bearish, and so is the uh, so is the RSI. Breaking below the 50 moving average, well, that leads down towards the 200 moving average at 22.99, nine, and that of course will. Uh, be a positive sign for the indices and also tech stocks in general, which have rallied quite significantly after hitting uh, rock bottom. But if we scroll out and look at the uh, big, uh, at the weeks, we can see basically see that we have been building up to higher um, higher volatility, and that of course is not uh, a good sign for the markets. The increase in volatility basically decreases uh, these indices and these stocks and lower volatility basically uh, makes them go up. So we are seeing this market, uh, seeing the VIX pull back and therefore this increase. But when this turns around, it will have the opposite effect. So we can look at the 10 year. We can also see that the 10 year uh, broke below the 20 simple moving average and uh, rallied quite significant today, 4.04% and is heading back towards the very highest here. It is basically no pullback at the end of the session, which is a fairly bullish shine. And we can also see the technical indicators also turning around becoming bullish. So of course, this is also a worrying sign for uh, this market. So hope you found this helpful and you're able to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much.